Test pilot of the Snobcast. Oh, feels good to be here. I'm very honored. So I've got here, this is the Snob Man. This is Johnny right here, and we've got Hype Man Steve. What's up, people? From the CLDV Comedy Lounge. Did a fantastic job the other night. You know, I, I do what I can, really. We've also got... Uh, very, very sorry that I missed that, by the way. I'm sorry yeah. I was stuck in the kitchen. We'll, uh, we'll get into that in a second, but uh, on that voice, is that's uh, Chef Tom. And it's being stuck in the kitchen, you know what I mean? No, oh, you're telling me. <laughs> Gus, Gusto Catering. Oh, watch out. If anybody needs anything catered, you can just... We'll put a link in the, in the description, just like YouTube. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, well, where is this going to be? We'll put a link wherever this is. Yeah, wherever we'll have this to is. eventually develop some sort of platform to... Uh, besides, like, the you know the Spotify's and whatever, we're going to have to uh, figure it out. Yeah, there's lots of mediums, yeah. as they're called. <laughs> I feel like this this is very Saturday Night Live from Tom's Backyard. This is Snopcast, you know what I mean? <laughs> Actually, we're recording this test right outside, and it's almost like the, one of the last nights of summer. And it's a bit cool, but it's comfortable, yeah. I guess. Should we say the date? Is is that allowed, or are we building mystery? Uh, no, don't say the date. It was a warm <laughs> night in 1937. <laughs> but, it <laughs> <laughs> but it is the year uh, 2019. It was 2009. Yeah, I saw, wow. I saw that. No, 2009, 2009, the last time I wore a condom, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so we've heard. You mentioned that. This, that twice yeah. you mentioned that today, right? actually. Yeah. I, yeah. It's a segue. I is wanted it? to bring it back to the conversation <laughs> we were having today. Is it an anniversary? or uh, No, it was just uh, it was 2009. It just felt right, you know? Wait, how, did, how did we get there again? Uh, remember, I took the condom out at work. Wow, the people listening to this right now have zero context as to what's yeah. going on. So you want to give a bit of a, a briefing? Uh, yeah, so I don't use condoms in the kitchen. It's not that kind of a, 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 a work environment. Um, I don't want to say where I work because I feel like I'm no, endangering... No, we shouldn't say where we work. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no. I feel like I'm endangering my own employment. But uh, let's just say uh, it's a very... Uh, uh, proper place where I sh probably shouldn't be doing what I did. And, uh, but they have a lot of condoms. They have fucking boatloads of condoms. <laughs> uh, brand? Can you say brand? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, plug. I'm a shameless plug. I, well, I mean, I don't know if they're going to give us money for anything. Like, how, about, how about I just like, I'll give you like an approximation. It's, okay. It rhymes with mice piles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> could, you repeat, I, could you repeat that? My pile. I see where you're going with that. Yeah, I got, I got you. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> very, uh, very cheap. Uh, it gets the job done, though. I feel. I mean, well, I've actually I've used those uh, knife piles before. Yeah, and uh, I've never had a complaint. Imagine Trojan sponsors us now, because <laughs> we keep <laughs> we keep messing up the name of their competition. <laughs> uh, before we go any further, we have three beers in front of us. Oh yes, we yeah. should probably pop those open. Yeah, do like we, uh, uh, is it like a countdown thing? Are we? All right, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do it all together. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna sing three. Oh my god, it feels like Mission Impossible. Everybody synchronize <laughs> your watches. <laughs> three. No one fuck up. Two. One. I We're might have just come. This might become a million dollar business. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Test pilot. Cheers. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Where did they come up with pilot for test? It's not that kind of podcast. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's a, good, that's a good. Why do they call it a. Is it because it's, the, it's like pilots? Because is it because they used to, like, you know, the only way to test a plane is to fucking fly it and hope you don't die? I is guess. that is that like I don't know. I guess that's what you would call it. It's the uh, only thing I can. Or is it because everything's about? still written? I feel like everything's still written in pen in those stages. You know what I mean? Like the script's not typed out, and you know they have those pilot pens. Oh, oh. oh. I feel like I feel like I feel like it could be that. I could also feel like maybe there's people in the industry right now that are going to listen to this eventually and be like, "What the fuck is he saying?" Hmm. 
Yeah, but hopefully they can correct us yeah. on what it is because I'd like. I mean, I guess we could just you know my dad always says GTS right. Just Google that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's actually really good. Yeah, and all he came up with the GTFS. Google that fucking shit. <laughs> that's, that's for your know. more uh, advanced <laughs> cases. Yeah, like if you want to Google that fucking shit on AIDS or something. Oh. Yeah. I Which bet. you can live with now. Well, found pe- out today. It's like Charlie Sheen. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Well, he's let's, he's, let's not name drop. He's, well, I'm gonna start singling out people now. Charlie Sheen's a if if episode one is starting like this, <laughs> man, the sky's the limit, I guess, huh? Um, I had a pretty interesting weekend. Oh, I yeah. mean, uh, do you want, do you want to tell us about it? Well, like, <laughs> I feel I feel like it starts with a really strong Friday night. Listen, Friday night um, was our f- the kickoff of the CLDV Comedy Lounge. Uh, Steve uh, Hypeman, Ooh. you were there. I was there actually. Uh, Tom was not. <laughs> what an asshole! Sorry that so. sorry that I had a job. Well, it's okay. I dropped the first asshole of the of the snobcast. I, I think you may have dropped the first asshole. Of the nice. Snobcast. Oh wow! The thing though, Tom, is I for, totally and don't even have to like forgive you. I'm not upset that you were not there because you actually catered your cousin's wedding. Yes, very very. How many uh, people was that? It was eighty people. 80 wow. People. Yeah, eighty eighty hungry Italians. And you covered both parties, not just your cousin, like your cousin's husband. Oh yeah, also. it was it was uh, it was something. It was uh, some shout out to mom and dad for helping with that one. Shit. Yeah. Pra, pra, pra. Let's hear it for him. Pa, 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 pa. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I actually wait. I actually. I you gotta, have something for that? While while you while you explain uh, the your your Friday, the rest of your All Friday, right. I'm gonna try and get the soundboard going. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, CLDV was great. It was probably one of our best shows. I'm sorry. What is CLDV, by the way, for the people that might not know? It's the uh, Leonardo da Vinci Center in this Saint Leonard, oh. Canada, Montreal. And and it's a comedy lounge, I hear. It's right? a That's comedy lounge. It's a thing that I've created. Uh, 160 people. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, baby. 160 people. But the thing is, that we did two shows. We had two sold-out shows, which is uh, 320 people. Oh. So we had a late show, and an early, uh, early show and a late show. Uh, both were sold out. Steve was at both. I was at both. Steve, uh, it's actually going to be a year next month that we're uh, doing the CLDV. Yeah, uh, and a year. You, you, every time you always intro me. That uh, it's a uh, it's a pleasure. Know. Well, I mean, it's not the direction I was gonna go, but we're already there, so let's keep it. All right. And the thing is, uh, what I was gonna mention is that <laughs> this the show is ex, ex, uh, I don't know exponentially fantastic. I see Friday. what you're saying. Uh, it was great. It, we uh, we dropped uh, an act. We usually we have six acts. We had five. And it worked flawlessly. So you gave one act the axe? Is that what happened? That's almost what happened. But I booked him for October. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was more of a, yeah. a shuffle than an axe. Yeah. And shout out to, uh, you know, Gino Durante, headliner of that first show. He killed it. Absolutely killed it. Two standing O's. Two standing O's. Two standing O's. Wow. Uh, if you were in the front row, you would have to stand up. Oh. The thing is usually... I'm Tom- glad I didn't come now. <laughs> The thing is, Tom um, usually sits in the front row. It's like a thing Every, like, since day one. I want the light to shine off my bald head <laughs> and blind you. Yeah, but the thing, I do it more for my, my microphone dick. Oh, yes. Yes. Which I actually mentioned um, on Friday to two random people in the front row. Uh, one was a man named Pat, I believe. And oh, he yes, was rich. Pat. And yeah. he was rich. He was a rich guy. He looked like he had money. And the other one was like a... Was like a Someone that was like my mom's age. And, wh- and what did you tell these people? I was like, I looked at them randomly and I said, what's your name? What's, I forgot the woman's name. I'm really sorry if you're listening to this. She's probably not. But I'm sorry, uh, your names, whatever. I'm like, you're lucky I don't have dick jokes tonight. And I just whipped out my mic dick. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell them, usually I have somebody that sits here that always caresses my fake dick. Yeah, but I, did you see how I shamelessly plugged my own dick? <laughs> I also, oh, I also told somebody. I've done that a couple of times. <laughs> I also told somebody because um, you know I do the giveaways right at some point, and uh, and well, some, if, so, if somebody doesn't know, why don't you? Uh, well, them? so Heavenly Taste Cookies, a lot of name drop. Yeah, <laughs> this podcast. A lot of name dropping for the first uh, Heavenly Taste Cookies. Please sponsor us. Send yeah. us money. <laughs> um, Heavenly Taste Cookies gives us cookies, right? And uh, so they give me a few boxes to give out to the audience during the show, and I usually point out like, oh. Uh, it's your birthday, it's your anniversary, whatever. So but, original. But, but sometimes <laughs> I'm really clueless when I get on stage. Because you know what? I, I, you know, so many things to think about as a host of the show. I'm not trying to brag, but there's so many things to think about <laughs> as a host of a show. <laughs> and you go on stage, sometimes I, f- I forget. I forget what I have to, what I have to say. So I don't, have to, I don't have time to think about, shut up. I don't have time to think about what, what I'm going to do for this giveaway. 
You have something to say there? Yeah, yeah honestly, yeah. like when you were telling me about like there's so many things to think about, the first thing I could think of was those first couple of times you got you came on stage. When I saw the look in your eyes, like the second you stepped on the stage, you immediately forgot where you were going with something. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't out of fear. It wasn't out of like, oh my God, like I, I need to pee, like some sort of bodily function. It was literally because you were like, I can't believe that I'm doing this show. You yeah. look you look like an Italian immigrant seeing fireworks for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's almost what it is. And I know it's weird. It's not it's like I thought it would like it would be done after the first show that we did a year ago. But like every time I step on that stage, I I'm always I always think the same thing. And I and I I uh, I swear a lot, which people don't like, but it's I do fine. I do it out of excitement. Yeah. I'm very excited, except for on Friday. There's a few hecklers that pissed me off, and I singled them out. I, okay, so I heard I heard there was a heckler situation that yeah. that there were it's very like intense. You, you told some situation. people to the, 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 the to fuck off, fuck off. Yeah. yeah wow. So what? Uh, so Abba Atlas uh, was on stage, and uh, and and he does a crowd work thing, which is fine because he kills it, right? Yeah. So, but when he when he was done, which I feel is very dangerous too. Like crowd work can turn on you. I feel like if it, you're not getting well, it, it turned on him. I mean, oh. the thing is, so he picked the wrong person. Person for yeah. that act, uh, and and so as he was trying to get back to his material, this person kept interrupting him. So and he was trying to be like, okay, it's enough. I'm trying to get back to my shit, you know. So he kept looking at me, and I was like, just keep going. I gave instead of like ten minutes, he did like fifteen, I think. Okay. The second show, the okay. first show, went fine, and he even he ate a cannoli on stage for the first time ever. Oh, I, fantastic! Milestones, yeah, milestones, you know. CLDV comedy lunch, next show October 25th. But going back to that heck of a situation. It sounds like an advent, I, uh, advert commercial, whatever. <laughs> may, may cause constipation, severe anal bleeding, <laughs> death. I, uh, I went back on stage after Abba set. Abba seemed a bit, you know, like he, he almost, I, I felt like he was going to walk off at one point. So I, I went back up and I, and I said, you know. During his act, you No, went no, no, no. He, I, I, when he was done. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I went, I went okay. back up and, um, and I said, look, I said, I really don't give a shit if you talk while I'm on stage and I'm doing my thing. I really don't care. But I said, when other comics are on stage, shut the fuck up. Yeah, And, and I, I feel like it's a thing that you've repeated. Yes. Before I repeated a lot. Shows, yeah. And then I pointed out to that table. I wasn't exactly sure who did it, who heckled, but I pointed to that table because I knew. You knew the more, the yeah. more yeah. or less. Like, Hammer you know, dropped. Yeah, under over. So, and that, and I, people applauded. They applauded me. Of course. Because they, fucking because assholes. I have people that gave me comments the other day that were like I almost said what you said on stage and oh, I was yeah. like well like I'm glad you didn't because you might have started a fist fight you know but and you, and you know what I can understand why some com- comics don't want people to be at the bar or why they don't want waiters to go around and stuff like that because I feel like too much in the crowd too much movement too much activity causes people to like causes that little chatter it, and that chatter can, kind of like evolves you know what I mean it's like a spore I see what you're saying it wasn't that though it's just somebody who's like loud and you know those obnoxious, obnoxious yeah. thank you that okay, yeah. think they're like funny oh. but like <laughs> trust me like, I know you're, you're, you're not anything you're not funny you're not cool shut the fuck up yeah. yeah and so they really needed that and, and they're lucky that I didn't throw them out so uh, but anyways I hope s- I'm there for that though <laughs> yeah, I, I wish. Uh, yeah, I, that may be the end of my career at the CLV. <laughs> yeah, if that's yeah, the case. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> Front but, page of the suburban. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was a great show, and uh, very happy with the turnout. And um, I, I, I'm really excited for October. Uh, tickets are on sale now. Can you tell us a bit about October? Who's going to be uh, on that show? I can tell you that the hype man. Uh, you'll be there. Oh, Oops. speaking about hype, man! It's um, so you said before that it's going to be your one year anniversary. October twenty. Well, October. Yeah. Uh, we did our first show in October of twenty eighteen, and now uh, the next month's show, wow. the twenty fifth, is a one year. So, who hypes the hype, man? Oof. Oh, yeah. I guess it's me. Would you oh. say that? Yeah. I, I don't want to take the, the yeah. The well, spotlight. no, you you do hype me. The, I mean, the day before, uh, I was like, dude, you need to do something totally out of your comfort zone, and I'm like, this is what you need to do, and he did it. I did he it. He did it so well that I wasn't ready to go on stage. <laughs> what, what, I, I like that the, was the, that was on Friday. Yes, and and then okay. I and then I, I literally <laughs> missed. If there was one show not to miss, I literally missed that show. Basically, yeah. I should have moved the wedding. You should have. They should have called me first. Honestly, oh, damn. it was actually supposed to be in July. The wedding. Oh. They chose September. Look, see that and, it, and it almost rained. You see, it, 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 but it, it, rain it rained in the morning. Yes. It rained in the morning. But then the second they came out of yeah. the church, yeah. sunny skies and doves, literally doves. Must I saw them th- launch a dove. A dove almost didn't fly. Wow. <laughs> they they were both holding it in their hands, and one <laughs> one got launched into the sky, and the other one for a mo- I, I, oh man, I wish I would have been filming this. <laughs> The dove, like it got, it got thrown in the air, and the wings never flapped. It looked, it looked like, like it, part of me was like, oh no, 
and and then the wings shot out because the dove was probably like 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 fuck this I want to book it back to like Mirabel or wherever I'm from, <laughs> and and uh, and it took off, which wow, which how crazy I was actually speaking about how crazy of a job would it be to train doves? Because they go, do when that, you right? release them, they go back yeah. to their home. But people do that. Yeah, it takes a yeah. whole like something. Yeah, but how do you tr- how do you train a dove? What are, you, are you just releasing birds in your house? Yeah. I, know, I think it has to do with like. Uh, I probably just dove. I just called the dove right now. It, probably. No, but it w- talk about a bad investment if you're like, oh, okay, I guess <laughs> this is how it works, and you release them and they fly away and they never come back. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's kind of like pigeon carriers back in the. What, what year would you say that would be, Steve? Well, I think people still pigeon? carry pigeons. Really? Yeah. yeah, maybe not necessarily like, like oh. Unless I, it's Egypt, right? They probably use falcons like in the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> which was on TV Horus. the other night. <laughs> Horus. Uh, which but, no, but I also, uh, shameless plug, I did a review on Snob Reviews of The Mummy. Yes, it and it ago. was very good. Oh, thank yeah. you. Very well written. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with, with all these uh, these reviews that are happening. Guys, the content is flowing. Thank Clean you. Juices. I just need I to it. step it up with the videos. That's all you need to do, really. Oh, next, yeah. The next step. But um, uh, shameless plug for Hype Man here. He's a big historian. Oh, very big historian. And cultured man. You you need to know anything on like the world post and, and, and pre- uh, 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 Libyan wars. He's, he's got you covered, man. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what's up. He, he knows what's up. You mention and a year, and he'll tell you like, "Oof, big year." That, that's also not true. Please don't find me. Uh, like, ask me like, <laughs> people random, just start oh, sending four, you numbers. 1486. Go. I don't. Okay, so Steve, 1897. Oh, what could you tell God. us about what is something? I don't know, but I could tell you what I've been reading about actually, like yesterday, and I guess a bit the day before, and it's kind of a revisiting because I. Read it from a different, anyways. Uh, the Duke of Lancaster during the Hundred Years' War. He was, uh, you know, he did all kinds of uh, badassery. But I guess it depends what kind of side you're on, really. Because maybe if you're like, oh no, I like the other team, fuck him, you know. Here I am waiting for you on the PlayStation Network. I, you're, you're reading about the Hundred Years' War. I you was, know what, Steve? You are an upstanding citizen. <laughs> Upstanding citizen. Bravo. Congratulate. Good for you. I would never be able to read about that, but the fact that you can, Steve, props, man. Uh, we're also having some munchies here in case you guys hear us chewing. Not because we smoked. Not no. like, it's not like that. Also, what happened to the shisha? The, yeah. shisha is, the shisha is on and it's like, it's, it's ready firing to go. on all four cylinders, man. So it's ready to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's ready so to go. So let's start it up. I mean, if somebody, if somebody wants to take, the, I, I feel like you should take the inaugural hall. Oh, Jenny, you want to wow. paint a, a picture of what's going on here? So listen, guys, we're sitting at a table in a, on a patio outside. And, uh, we're eating party mix. We're eating party mix uh, snacks. We're having a few beers. There's a big uh, Khalil Mamoun, shameless plug. Oh, yes, that's it. Shisha. Is that nothing right? Like, nothing like handmade. Is that it? It's from Morocco? For, uh, it's from Egypt. Egypt. Yes. Not everything is wow. from Morocco. Wow. I, you see I, that? From, yeah. I'm, wow. I, I, I don't know what's wow. happening. Naughty derision straight yeah. from Steve. Yeah. So the thing is, uh, just before I, I talk this, um, it's a CLDV Comedy Lounge, uh, one year anniversary, October 25th. Massimo will headline. Uh, he Massimo sh- Ranieri. Yeah, we got way off. No, off no, uh, oh, yeah. the other Massimo. There. Yeah, not, not Massimo Ranieri, the Italian. Se <laughs> bruciasse la città. Date. Not that Date. guy. Can't afford him. But Massimo Canestraro, who, uh, who's toured with Sugar Sammy, he, did a, he had his first one-man show at JFL this past summer. Uh, great guy, great comic. Uh, Hype Man will be there. I'm hosting... Um, Tom will be in the front. Tom will be in the front. I will have a microphone, Dick. Uh, Emil Corey, my my Habub, and uh, one of our regulars. One of our regulars, also one of our regulars, Reginald Saint Eloi, oh our gosh, Haitian gosh. brother. Uh, also joining us, that was there the first show a year ago. Sexy George, crowd uh, favorite, crowd favorite actually, and sexy along with sexy Gi- George, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes, along yes. with Gino Durante, uh, he is like the second. Person that people ask for all the time. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. So, Sexy George and Jeffrey Applebaum uh, from the Comedy Nest. Yes. Oh, yeah. Does a lot of voice work and stuff. He's very yes. cool. Lots yes. of fun. That's October twenty fifth. Also, also, David. Uh, David uh, Pride. Pride. He yes. was. He's fantastic. He's great. He's actually. Uh, well, another shameless plug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is what the podcast should <laughs> just be called: shameless plug. <laughs> we're, we're. I'm. Uh, Emil and I. Emil Corey and I are launching uh, a weekly uh, open mic session. In a, in a Hunsik in Montreal on Fleury Street called the Les Sacré Jeudi. And uh, we'll have some great comics come up uh, week by week, uh, starting on the 26th. Oh, that would be a great day to do a podcast, don't you think? The, pre- the pregame. 
Oh yeah. my god, imagine that would that would actually be if the That'd bar be cool, yeah. if, if the bar wouldn't be like like too lit, you know, like towards the beginning. Worst case, we do it in our car. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. we can literally what, take this what thing are anyway. These, what are these three kids doing parked in front of our driveway? Why is there smart? And we're in the car, shamelessly plugging and making fart and dick jokes. I feel like that's a really big Bill Burr thing to say. Who, uh, by the way, who doesn't yeah. love Bill Burr? Who doesn't love Bill Burr? Did you guys see that new special? I haven't yet. I had to change brilliant. my bed sheets. <laughs> um, a brilliant new special on Netflix, Paper oh Tiger. My God. Paper Tiger, great, oh my uh, great God. special. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Did you watch it? I wa- of course I watched it. The second, the second he said that joke that he did about like, if there would be an, a, a, a the first woman president and the women started like woo and he, and clapping and shit and he's like. He's like, you don't even know what our platform is. You just see that, well, we share the same genitalia. Let's clap. <laughs> He's a genius. He's a great guy. Yeah. Um, that along with the new Chappelle, Sticks and Stones is really good. Oh, yeah. Um, but Bill Burr is just very angry with everything. Yeah. yeah. But he's a great guy. But... But you guys, you guys listen to the to the podcast. You guys listen to his Bill podcast. Steve, Steve does. Yeah, I, do I, I listen to it religiously. Too. Oh, it's so it's good. Fun. And 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 you know what? He like he like that anger. Like he is, he tries to work through it. You know what I mean? Like it is a big part of his comedy because that's that's yeah. probably. Yeah. I mean, he's from Massachusetts, so it's not really his fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is a big Boston guy. I'm a big Boston guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boston's a Boston's a great town. I agree. Yeah, strongly. Yeah, shout out to uh, what, what was that guy's name that uh, oh. that we met at the karaoke bar? That that was the the, the oh, tour no, guy. That, that uh, the, uh, he was the Samosa, Samosa man. man. No, oh Samosa, uh, definitely shout out to Samosa man. Really you know, saved us. Uh, uh, get your samosas in Dorchester. I can't remember the street right now, but, but he's there, and his samosas are great. Yeah, but no, we had. Oh we my had, god, more shameless plugging. Jesus, we had the guy from the Sam Adams Brewery. Remember he the the tour guy that we met at the karaoke bar later that night. Oh my god, remember that? Yes. What was that guy's name? I was really happy. Uh, yeah, I feel like it started it, with an A. It was like Aaron, Aaron or something. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it was like something like that. I wish I remembered just like you guys. I <laughs> yeah, was no, really, no, really you drunk. Were, you were just. I sang Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Yeah, you were in, waiting for in that. Boston, in Boston a at a Sox bar game. during a Red Sox yeah, game. Yeah, you were waiting for some Neil Young, man. That's uh, it's Neil Diamond, but yeah, all right. That's, that's how this yeah. podcast is going to go. By the way, when I say when we're talking about something, I'm going to say whatever whatever artist it is, and that's what it is. I don't think I should have any in the shisha. I feel like my throat is like. Oh well, then I guess it's just me and you, buddy. Like I don't want to. I don't want to give it to you. you know? like, if I had the clap, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys would appreciate me not giving it to you. Well, I don't right? know. It's amongst friends there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great time so far. We're at 22 minutes almost. Wow! Yeah. And it's actually um, like you know. I, I love the flow of this. Let's talk more about our weekend. What'd you do this weekend? Well, wait. Um, I don't mean. Oh, oh, oh sorry, no. sorry, sorry, I sorry. Mean, no, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, do, I'm done so. with me. I'm. I'm oh, I guess oh. go to you. Then we'll talk about his wedding. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I just want to mention on Friday night, uh, after the two uh, successful shows, that uh, we did a lot of drinking in between. Just so, yo, just so you know, um, I never pay Steve. Uh, yeah, I, I work for free. I'm, I'm pretty sure Steve gets his pay in drinks. Oh, that's true. That's uh, true. On Friday night, we had a bit too much. I, I definitely did have you a bit. A I, I, had, I had one too many before the 9.30 show. Oh. It didn't help that we always do like a pre-ritual shot. So, uh, we, it, but instead of a pre- a shot, it was like um, several mo- several yeah. shots yeah. of Jameson. Thank you, shameless Mel. plug. Oh, also me though, because I also yeah. But that turn yeah. we did a turnaround uh, between the seven and the nine thirty. Yes, preparing the um, the room for the next show. That was next level. Uh, like uh, the music like resetting the chairs. And yeah, all that. next level. Francis, next level. Francis, big the, shout out, killed it. DJ FM, uh, he played some beats, and I was fucking. Pumped. I was yeah. pumped. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah, like yeah. that. What was that? It was like that song Boasty that he that, that oh he started playing. That God. that other show. When was it? Like two shows ago? Uh, May. Yeah. May. May. Yeah. Whatever. Wow. Yeah. He got the crowd going. Yeah. He he knows his stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now. Uh, great guy. But yeah, your weekend. I mean. So, anyways, at the end of that show, I I uh, Jenny, I slept on your couch actually because I had to to do something in the morning nearby, <laughs> and I got on his couch. I was in my clothes, everything. I wake up. Fully dressed, I still had gum in my mouth. Uh, I did not know. That. Yeah, I, I was there. I'm like, man, Mark, oh. was it solidified or was no, it no, it was like, like choke. no, no, it was, it was, it was, yeah, right. That's very dangerous, Steve. It is. I, wow. I didn't even remember having gum, to be honest. Also, congrats on like, congrats on not dying, man. Well, I we tr- needed I you tried. for this podcast. <laughs> we needed you here. It was gonna suck. Uh, was then for this pilot. Saturday, uh, I you were there. You were there. 
Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's like we went to Johnny's house and anyway. Oh, some pizza. Once we again, pizza. I couldn't be there because I was at a wedding. That's yes. right. So you Fuck. missed out a big weekend. Yeah, I missed out on a big weekend, guys. Um, then Sunday, uh, Hot Tub Sundays. I wasn't there. Yeah, I was I, at home watching the right stuff. Oh, no. Hot, I'm sorry. Hot Tub Sundays. is that. That's just... It's yeah. just called Sundays for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're always at our, you're, you're like the third child yes. of our friends. Yes. Yeah, they they actually do call me their son, which is very weird because yeah. they're the same age as. That, oh, that's see now you're 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 the second son in a second family. Oh, that's uh. Well, you got you yeah. got Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You're like his his brother. My brother, yeah. From, yeah but I mean, right. I guess my family kind of likes you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, ish, yeah. Right? Obviously, I mean, right. like the liking is a very important. Like, if you could see me, I'm doing like the. You know, the Maso Mano? Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah, the plus or minus. Plus or minus Italian style, guys. It's like <laughs> it's like playing paddle ball, but with your hand. That's correct. That's, you know? Um, so that was me, uh, Tommy. You want to? Oh, well, um, my weekend was very interesting. A um, lot, lot of people. Well, start from Friday. How did you prep for like 80 people? Oh, oh, it was great. Actually, I started prepping on Thursday night. Like, it was a lot of... Um, a lot of standing up, a lot of running around, and uh, not a lot of sleeping, actually. <laughs> um, Steve knows nothing about sleep. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, you could have come and help out. You I could have. The one time. Don't even joke like the that. The one time. You guys should have seen me making arancini, man. The little, the, for, for Don't you, you hate making for them? For you Anglos, uh, uh, rice balls. Rice balls. Don't you hate making those? I, when I was making them, each one that I was compressing, I was honestly, I was swearing. Why do you hate making them? Because it's so time-consuming. It's such a time-consuming thing. It's so uselessly time-consuming. But they're delicious. They're they're yeah. fantastic. They're fantastic. You Actually, yours, yeah, your, your lasagna and your orange are very good. Oh, I'm, I'm very, I'm very flattered, guys. Anything Thank you do. make, ours it's made with love. It's made yeah. with last love. summer when you made those beet burgers. Oh my oh, god, yeah, I, those beet burgers. I was thinking of them today. Yeah, I, was thinking of them I could have made them at this this year's BBBQ, but I feel like the the marinade might have gotten washed off by the rain. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no uh, sufficient barbecue. But Actually, that barbecue was ripping. Was that ripping, barbecue yeah. was on for like three hours. We used a disposable barbecue that we threw in the garbage after. That's well, has the word disposable. On, honestly, honestly, like that's probably the best thing. If ever you want to, you guys, that's what we should have done this summer. That we didn't do, by the way. We should have mm-hmm. gone to the park on a oh, weekend and then a barbecue yeah. in the park, man. Are we yeah. allowed to do that? Of course you could. We can't anyway. drink there, right? Well, yeah. We could drink in the park yeah, now? Of course. Wherever, wherever you want. Except the only park <laughs> you I got that? <laughs> no, any park. You can do you can you can do that stuff in any park. The only one you actually can't do it on on the island that's like sanctionable. Oh, it's like, uh, Maisonneuve. I figured. That's Why? Because it. it's French? I Well, I mean, I feel like that. I feel like it's that. But well, you can literally do it anywhere Maybe because it's just like a, it's a big park. But that doesn't make sense. There's <laughs> also other big parks that you can do it. We can go across the street from your place, man, and just do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a great... We could, well, yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, at that point, might as well just do it at your house. Yeah, yeah. In the comfort of your in my own home, living room. Okay, but back, back, back to Friday. Back yeah. to Friday. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of prepping, a lot of, a uh, lot of uh, running around and standing up and looking down and my neck hurting. Um. Uh, then Saturday, Saturday was interesting because you, you know, wake up at five in the morning, deliver all the food, make everything look nice. Prepare the platters. Did you take a nap at any point? Oh yeah, I took. Actually, I took a nap um, after the church ceremony. Was nice. Ceremony was a half hour. Whoever That's does perfect. these hour, hour and a half ceremonies, Fuck guys, a half hour me. ceremonies are where it's. Yeah, don't. Inv- I won't come to the church. A half hour ceremony is where it's at. We get in. We get in quick. We get out quicker. <laughs> I- <laughs> That's how it works, man. I don't really care for the church part. I'm not even going to lie on this podcast. Honestly, though, it was the first time I went to that church. It was a beautiful church. The 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 one on on uh, on uh, Papino. Oh, uh, de la yeah. visitation. Yeah, 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 beautiful church. We've seen those churches too. Yeah, because we know man of God. Here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right across the street. Yeah. Who, I, who I also emailed. Shout out to him for coming back to yeah. Cancun. Oh, he was on vacation. Yeah, he was on vacation. That's fantastic. Right? Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, man. You know who you are. Um, Wish I did, honestly. It's da- da- Dan. Oh, oh Dan. Dan. Yeah, yeah. Dan. All right. Yeah. yeah. How's it going, brother? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So everybody knows where he lives now. Cool. We're gonna move on. <laughs> we um, said in the air. That's kind of. Yeah. That's a bit. That's vague enough. Yeah, it's vague yeah. enough. Yeah, it's fine. Oh no, you did. Anyways, it's okay. Well, look. Yeah. Moving on. And that's what editing's for, Steve. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I took an hour nap, and then I watched three episodes of uh, the Chef Show, which is guys like honestly. 
honestly, I find it's not because I, I yes, I'm biased and I'm a, I'm a chef, so like it would it really biases me. But at the same time, you you watched it. Yeah, I, I'm still on season one though. How great does the show flow though? It's a great. Show. I, last episode I saw was the Rob Rodriguez one. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. I ate pizza while I watched them make pizza, the, and it just makes oh, you nice. want to eat. Yeah, I know, hundred percent. But also, you're just biased because you love that fucking movie. Oh my god, they can't, took it off can't Netflix. Blame I can't watch no. it anymore. They took it off Netflix. It's oh not on anymore. God. How's that possible? They have the chef show, but they're on the they chef. They don't movie? have the chef movie. John Favreau, man, what are you doing signing contracts like that? What's going on? That's fucked up. Is it is it on Prime or? I don't Crave, know. Maybe? I don't know. I gotta get it on. I, 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 I'll I just buy it for you. I'll buy it for you. Yeah, but I don't even have a DVD player to play. Oh, I you can watch it on my house if you want. I have it. I just gotta. I'm gonna illegally download it. I think I have it. I hope I have it. I feel like I just gotta illegally download it. <laughs> <laughs> right? I wish people saw your face right now. No, you but really guys, sad. come on. Who's gonna. Like, I'm gonna have to subscribe to another streaming service just to watch the fucking movie. No, just you, you movie. how many times have you watched the movie in, in, like in, Honestly, a ro- in a row? Okay, in a row. So, okay, so Netflix. Netflix. If you're listening to this, Netflix. If you're listening to this, you need to get a play count. You need to have. St- <laughs> you need to have like on a movie. You need to have like stats. To, like how many times you've watched it. Like full viewings. Uh, 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 how many times like you've backtracked in the movie? Like it would be cool to get like little stats like that because I'm pretty sure I've watched Chef more than 200 times on Netflix. I like don't full, doubt that. Full movie, full movie starts to finish over 200 times. I probably know the script by heart. You probably, it's probably would you say it's one of your favorite films? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. What what's uh, Scent of a Woman is the other one? Oh, <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on that. Big old Al. Oh, big Al. Don't. Oh. I take a flamethrower to this place. Don't even get me started on that we, movie. We, we saw that together. Well, you've seen it a billion times before. Yeah, but we saw that together. You, you saw it for the first time that yes, day, right? I How did. great was that it movie? It was fantastic. Doesn't he actually look blind? <laughs> you know? The, especially the part when he checks his watch and he goes, Woo, he's not even wearing a watch. <laughs> it, Woo, you're going to be you're gonna be late. I think you just missed your flight. <laughs> Unless the, cl- the, the oak room keeps a complimentary helicopter on the roof. <laughs> You're mine until tomorrow. Oh, man. Tom is very good with... Um, here, here's a fun fact. You're very good with movie quotes. So is Steve. I, movie connoisseur, movie connoisseur, uh, suck. But with, you're very good with music. Yes. Music, yes. Yes. But, but movies was my first love. You're very good with music, and you're very good with uh, sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> you know all your sponsors' names. <laughs> I did it on Friday. I, f- I forgot so. <laughs> <laughs> I like to I like to thank uh, Dave Murdaka from Murdaka. Oh no, wait, he's not. That's not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys, uh, shout out to that. I, I know you could. <laughs> you could even Feels like, like it would be a sponsor. <laughs> you could, <laughs> Dave Murdaka. If you're listening, Dave, <laughs> <laughs> hit us up. But no, I, I you you could tell me a quote, and I'll be like, unless it's like. You know, whatever the cannoli one from Godfather. I don't even know what to see. The cannoli one. Oh, the cannoli really? one. Leave the leave it's the gun. Take the cannoli. Like a sentence, you know? Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Leave the gun. Yeah. Take the cannoli. That's fine. Everything. I won't know anything else. Oh my god! Except for uh, a big, big fan of uh, Ocean's Eleven. Oh, I was just gonna oh, say yeah. that. Yeah. I was just gonna say you think I'll mind. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, that entire movie. In that entire movie, my favorite, absolute favorite moment is when they're in front of Ruben. And, yes. like, and he turns around and he goes, by the way, which hotels were you thinking of robbing? And they look you at each other. do that one, Steve? Yeah, they look at each other, but they look at each other in total confusion. <laughs> like, like, remind me again which, which three casinos we want to rob. And wait, I want to just point out that they say it like off, like beat, like not at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, It's like a, Uh, you you guys want to do it? You guys want to, you guys want to do it? Ask us the question. Uh, 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 By by the way, guys, which hotels were you you guys thinking? Uh, uh, Sorry. Which casinos were you geniuses thinking of robbing? Uh, Uh, The Bellagio, the Mirage, and the MGM Grand. Yeah, it kind of sounded like it was the same time though. Those are Terry Benedict's casinos. Yeah. (laughs) What are you, you guys, what do you guys got against Terry Benedict? What do you got against them? <laughs> that was very George yeah. Clooney. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> he torpedoed my hotels. <laughs> Muscled me out. Muscled me <laughs> out. That's another movie you've watched countless times. Oh, it's oh, still I... on my... F- it's, Is that it's on still Netflix? On it, okay, so you know how the recently played works? It's always in the yeah. first four. <laughs> that Mind of a Chef, shout out to PBS for fucking producing that show. Great show. That, that show's fantastic. 
Uh, also, Bob super Ross. bad. I love watching and rewatching super bad because I feel like it's so, so well written, so oh, movie, yeah. so so greatly done. So uh, very good coming of age movie. Yeah, probably one of the best, and definitely like that was around the same year that I that we graduated. Well, you were a year older than us, Tom. Yeah. but Steve and I graduated together. Yeah, it was yeah. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, but going so, the, anyways, going back to the wedding, I want to ask you about the wedding, which was: Did you go to St. Vieter at five a.m.? No, St. Vieter bagels, okay. by the way. Shout so, out! So I didn't <laughs> send us free bagels. So St. Vieter, what what I ended up doing was uh, I told myself, "Fuck that." Not fuck St. Vieter, just fuck, fuck that. I decided to go the night before and just uh, put the bagels in the plastic bags that they give you, and they tasted fantastic. Yeah, they're great. Uh, yeah. So now why I tell myself, why do I go get them fresh every morning when I can just go the night before and save myself the hassle? And it's 24 hours, right? So They really need to put a location closer to fucking to, the, to where I live, man. But it's the area that they're in. That's, it's super popular. Well, I mean, why do they got two on the same go, street? They got two within a block. But one, isn't one like a breakfast place? Yeah, they still sell bagels. They're still making them 24 yeah, hours I've only been to one. <laughs> I don't, like, Which is probably the bagel shop. But yeah. they also have a, like a brunch spot. Really? Yes. Yeah. It had burned down, actually, not too long ago. Oh, I heard about that. But I was just, then I was like, oh, this one. Like, what the fuck? But, uh, yeah, so uh, long story short, uh, somebody banged somebody else at the wedding. <laughs> what a segue. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was my Do you want to go? Oh, that was the end of that, so you don't want to go more into Well, I mean, I mean, I feel, like, I feel like I need to protect the persons. Okay, so anonymously. Yeah. Anonym- anonymously. Some person. S- s- some person. That you know, Wait, can, that I know. Can you tell us if they were in the wedding party? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't you. They knew their way around the hall. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, it wasn't you though. It was not. No, it was definitely not me. I would have remembered that. I would have remembered that. Do you think the person who anonymously did it remembers? Probably not. Actually, oh. were they that fucked up? They were that fucked up at four. You know, that's the thing with weddings. At a wedding party, I noticed that I was ne- I've never been in a wedding party, party, but actually, that's a lie. Uh, when my dad got married, remarried, I was like in grade six, but I also couldn't drink. So uh, yeah. I guess it doesn't count. But doesn't count. I- if I was him, he probably was already messed up by the time noon comes around, right? Like the groom or whatever. Uh, like yeah, I grandpa. remember at his wedding, he was messed up when he went to bed, and then he was messed up again at eight. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Okay. Like you sung him the night before. Oh, the night before. Yeah. Okay. Four in the morning when he went to bed, 8 a.m. when he woke up. Still, still fucked up. Got re fucked up. Re fucked up. Re fucked up. So, um, so your wedding day is pretty much just a mind fuck. Yeah. Also, is this podcast like rated R? Like, is that what's happening right now? Cause, y- like, you can swear on podcasts. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. Said, like, fuck and all kinds CRTC of shit and stuff. And fuck that. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> FDA. FDA, no, that's food CSI. and CSI. Yeah, I think that's you're thinking of uh, the FCC. FCC. Yeah. FCC. Oh, the FCCI. Wrong yeah. country. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The FCC thinking. won't let me be, uh, let me be me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, is that the <laughs> M&M? No, that is not a candy. You mean the, the white wrapper? The white wrapper, exactly. Exactly. Marshall Mathers. Fucking saw that guy at Oceaga. Really? Which yeah. Was music Festival in Montreal, right? And? Um, not impressed. I loved him until then. And then I, he was fucking lip syncing. Was he? He's a rapper. He was lip syncing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he had a throat infection. Doesn't fucking matter. You're a rapper. Talk. Yeah, but what? If, what? If, okay, so okay, so uh, okay, so what if he would have gotten on stage and his throat infection was so bad and he would have been like, oh, yeah, everybody, I'm, 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 okay, yeah. now you're making me sound like I'm a dick, but like you're Eminem. You're like you, you, you know, you're one of the biggest rappers in the world. Am I right? Even though we're not a fan, like you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you. But the biggest rappers in the world, you're gonna come out on the stage. We will paid you fucking hundred bucks to stand all day. Wow! Remember when Oshiago was a hundred bucks? Remember? <laughs> remember that? That's like what shit. Of, what I've never times. been. It's well, it's, you know, it's, it's just a bunch of people <laughs> with flowers in their hair doing Molly. It's really. <laughs> I mean, you want to go go on a Sunday? Go to picnic. <laughs> I've heard some picnic stories too about cocaine. Yeah. I've also never been to picnic. Neither have I. I've uh, actually picnic I've seen electronic for anyone who doesn't. Know. I've seen all the drugs, all that one weekend at Oshiaga. and you were fucked up also. Completely, 
Not on, not on, not on the. I mean, okay, probably smoke some weed, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't mean like hard weed. shit. Yeah. Oh no, definitely not. I wouldn't. I, I, I'm, I'm not. No, no. Good for you, man. Yeah, yeah. As a chef, good thank for you. you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I love that he calls me chef. It's nice. It's uh, well, a nice well, spring. Well, I mean, you it. did. You, you're a culinary. I'm a culinary. -er. Culinary. -er. I'm a culinary. -er. Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, colonist. Colonist. Oh, uh -huh. that just feels like we're one sh letter short of Col being a cultist. Cunnel and also well, cunnilingist. Co I oh, going. I mean, well, ask my girlfriend. But yeah, shout out, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is flowing really well, guys. I, I know. Wanna... Uh, wait, did you do your whole weekend or did you just do Friday? I don't know I'm, if you're I'm done. Fine. I, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like keeping count as I did best I the can. CLDV Saturday. You guys came over except my oh, yeah. Tom. And Sunday I watched the right stuff. Yeah, you said that during my thing. So. What yeah. happened on Sunday? I don't even... Oh, guys, Sunday I spent the entire day in, in sweatpants. Oh, good choice. I spend, I spend the... most days in sweatpants. Well, track pants. So fair. here's the thing with Steve. Steve wears... He, he loves sweatpants. Uh, and and I, as I've, um, I've lost some weight and, and I really enjoy sweatpants now... But you you really got to go buy the new ones that that, that I had messaged you. The are they day. tapered at the leg or are they big yeah, at the all, leg? You have to have it nice and tight on uh, like, the ankle. Tight okay, the so leg. there's one that I bought. One that I bought that that they're not tapered, so but they're very they're very uh, comfortable. No, they're I'm very not comfortable. Wear no. But well, no, it's not like super tapered. Like it's leg tight. It does go down a bit. Okay, well, okay look look, they come, look yeah, at they me are, now. Okay, they are tapered. Look they at me now. Look at Steve's leg. Okay, they're not they're not that Okay, that's the problem. They're not they're not that like like. Okay, well, like, look at these ones that I got on. They're not, like, they're tapered a bit, but they're not, like, tight. You know what I mean? Actually, these are, are these the new ones? These might be the new ones. No, they're Those actually look a little comfy. They're supremely comfy. The thing is, um, yeah, Steve wears sweatpants. And the thing is, sometimes Steve wears sweatpants to the most, like, it's not appropriate. Yeah, but Steve sweatpants. I feel in the closet, Steve, correct me. You jump in here whenever, whenever you sure. want. But um, I feel like... Um, okay, so you remember, you remember, um, uh, what, what was that? A two weeks notice. Sandra Bullock, Hugh Grant? Hugh Grant, yeah. Okay. You know when, Great when, guy. when, when he, when he calls her, when he calls her to, uh, get, leave the wedding because he needs yes. to choose a suit? Yes, yes. Okay. And he has that crazy closet that it's like, it a, it's like a laundromat, it's not a laundromat, it's like a dry cleaner yeah, yeah. on those automatic racks. I feel like it's like that, but organized from, from like athletic casual <laughs> <laughs> to like evening formal. Did you just say Steve with the, the word organized? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. And if Chris Leo were here, he'd definitely call me a Cuda. I'd definitely be a Cuda right now. <laughs> so you own an amount, a nice amount, and the ones you're wearing now, I think you bought in Vegas, right? I did buy in Vegas. You were there, actually. You I must have a great collection, though. You know what? It's not as big as you would think. Also, <laughs> I hope we're still talking about the pants. <laughs> we are. We are. Uh, um, I could definitely use some more. I bought uh, some new ones recently, though. Well, uh, from where? Uh, I bought them at Winners. Oh, yeah! Shout out. They were. They were. Um, oh, another shout out. Super dry sweats, and they're like really nice. Super dry from Japan. Uh, actually, you know what? Someone told me. That it, that it's actually like British, and it's oh. some people who went to uh, Japan and like saw the crazy ads, and they're like, "Oh, let's do shit." So is dry spelled D R I? No, D R Y. Like no, like, but on those pants, because oh no, those no. are I have, no, those I are just dry pair. fit. Those are dry fit. Yeah, yeah, pants. yeah. dry yeah. fit like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm but sorry, continue. But super dry is weird because like it literally says Japan all over their fucking shit. I know. I thought it was Japanese for a long time. When we walked time. in that that Vegas store, where you got that crazy t-shirt for sale like 15 yeah. bucks right it was oh like it was 50 like bucks. less it was, it was like less than 10 that. or 5 or something down from like 50 right yeah yeah, yeah it was crazy uh, that's, that was the same trip you, the same trip you bought those fucking sweats so these get, ones yeah yeah get this I've been I've been I've been waiting um, there's a purchase I want to make oh shit I'm excited to hear about yeah, this yeah yeah and it's and it's this sweat and I'm I, you, you guys know I don't wear sweaters like too often like I'm usually in t-shirt like a sweatshirt? Like a sweatshirt, like a sweatshirt. I have a lot of t-shirts. Okay, yeah. That's who you have a lot of t-shirts, that's for sure. I do actually have a lot of sweatshirts, which I don't. I wore actually, I wore I wore two days ago, which which is nice. And I think I'm At the wedding, you wore a sweatshirt at the wedding? No, no, not at the wedding. You said two days ago. Let's move on. Oh, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. All right. Tuesday. I'm sorry. I'm saying Tuesday like I'm Italian. Tuesday. Um, but um, 
Yeah. Uh, the, the, so I saw this on Instagram, mm -hmm. right? Right. It's from Supreme, but I feel like Supreme, uh. Supreme sells out right away. Because like, yeah, it's I, very I, limited runs of everything. Yeah, but there's a company yeah. that makes copies of them, which uh, I'm not gonna like. I feel like if I had the voice scrambler, I would use it for this. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> but they, they, they. It's basically you yeah. remember Dragon Ball? Yes. Remember, okay, you remember Supreme Kai, the guy with the mohawk, the purple guy with the white mohawk, the little guy, the oh, the, which, the, which the which world like tournament, the Majin Buu thing. Remember that? Oh man, I. Supreme, oh, the Majin Buu tournament that uh, I mostly read in the in the little in the, manga the, the books manga. there, the French manga books. I know nothing about the fuck you guys are talking you never about. Had you never watched like, Dragon Ball I never Z, watched. Man. I never watched. I, wa I was no, a big no, Pokemon the, guy, but I never watched anything else besides that. That was not Japanese or Chinese. No, or the, is it Japanese? Yeah, it's Japanese, man. Yeah, it's manga, right? Yeah, yeah. it's anime. Well, anime, but the yeah. books. But okay, anyways, well, I, yeah. this guy. Everyone has this guy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah. basically, so actually, since 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 I I, I have that, uh, um, they have they make a sweater, and Supreme had made a, a limited run um, of those sweaters, and it's really cool. It's basically just his face with the Supreme logo on it, exactly like this, you know. But it okay. was bigger. Yeah, it was bigger, and I feel like I just want to buy that. Well, I, I feel like it's pretty cool. It's pretty was cool. it affordable? It, yeah, it's like a, it's like a forty dollars shirt sweater. Sweater for sweater. Really? Sweater. Supreme. I thought you know, like, treat yourself. Like I feel like grand. I can do that. You know? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, but they have it on a t-shirt. It's black and white like that. That's you know really what I mean? Cool. I Isn't like it that. pretty dope? I it's find very it's dope. dope. I agree. It's cool if you're like a fourteen-year-old. I think. Okay. Wow. So, wow. So it's I like disagree. That. Uh, I'm with it you. says the guy with Marvin Gaye on his sweater. This is actually Lionel Richie. It's it's a very sick. He was the boss of the Commodores. No, Marvin Gaye. Commodores. That's how Lionel Richie. Yeah. I've seen him a few times. That's how he always oh, introduces sorry, himself. Sorry, like, I'm a sorry. Sorry. right now. Sorry for the name drops. Yeah. Sorry for the name drops that I'm not able to do. Yeah, well, you know who I? My mom touched Phil Collins in a concert. That sounds weird. That. that sounds weird. Yeah, how did she touch it? It's not weird. It's not weird at all. Touch his drum hand. <laughs> you think this drum? Do you think the reason why Phil Collins uh, has to tape his sticks to his hands is because he jerked off too much, or is it really just because of the the drumming? I, th um, I think it's all the finger blasting, to be honest. You think he got chicks? He's a really ugly fucking guy. Yeah, but he's Phil Collins. He's Phil Collins. You know what Phil Collins rhymes with? Filthy fucking rich. <laughs> <laughs> why, does he, why does he need to impress anybody when all he has to do is buy a bottle? You know? uh, like, what, what do you think he drinks? Because he, <clears throat> he was for sure... Armagnac, probably. Oh, definitely. You know, I was thinking, like, you know? I was thinking that. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Armagnac. Cognac. Oh, it's cognac. Like cognac, but made from, from the Armagnac. Sorry, I'm a, so I'm a gin guy, yeah. so I don't know. Oh, brandy, I should say, then, if we're going to be all technical. Oh, if we're going to be hist historically cultured, oh, like my Steve. God. No. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, that was, that was, that was <laughs> misaccurate of me. It's very much mis misaccurate of you. By the way, how are you liking that flavor? That's the, the what is it? It's a uh, it's it a berry grape. I thought of the berry. I wasn't sure about the grape part because yeah. it tastes kind of like a grape grape. drink. Grape, like a you know? <laughs> like a grape drink. That's a <laughs> See, what are your thoughts about the grape drink? <laughs> I like stuff that tastes purple, not necessarily. Okay, so what do you mean by tastes like purple? Because it, it's grape. No, because oh. sometimes they taste. They say, "Oh, it tastes yeah. of grape," but it tastes nothing like grape. Better, but it you, does taste purple. You better not I think start talking about lean. <laughs> That was yeah. that one time, Tom. One track. time that he did that. Yeah, it was not. I don't know who's listening, but you know, I I don't like Cody when I'm sick. So so. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Hey, what what were we saying? Uh, well, I, we were. I mean, we were talking about Phil Collins. Uh, you said something about him finger blasting. Well, how do we get the grapes and all oh, and this? this. Oh, what, what is this again? The sh uh, uh, berry grape. Ooh, very nice. The I, alpha I care, which is pretty much like alpha fucker. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they named that that way on purpose. That's not your name. Oh, hi, I'm alpha fucker. Oh, wow. It's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like Ben Dover. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mr. Dover. Well, ben okay, Dover. So, funny story is, uh, we've uh, I've seen because of work. Uh, I've seen a few uh, funny names like you know like fuck but like they're like you know yeah, they're Asian yeah. so like the PH you know PH UK yeah. or you get like uh, the Vietnamese bitch. yeah bitch yeah but without true. the T it's just B I B I C H yeah is it, is it bitch or is it like Bic maybe Bic Bic I'm not sure to be honest how are you not sure about that well because I you know I could 
no more Vietnamese people, you know? Maybe you have the to fact just that emphasize you the East about that it, was, that it was Vietnamese. I'm just saying, because it is, but... Anyway, God, guys, we, we're, we're digressing. I feel like we need to um, <laughs> need to get back on track. So, uh, so like our life. Here's a here's a. Well, speaking about getting on track, let's let's get on track with this. So, what what do you uh, what do you guys uh, uh, expect this podcast to be? Like, what are your what are your hopes for this podcast? I've lost hope a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> 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 I feel like we can make a song out of, it, or at least a musical. Definitely a musical. I think a song is doable. I'm a big musical guy, so. Oh yeah. yeah. Would you like us to write a Dracula musical? Or? <laughs> the Forgetting Sarah Marshall reference. We're huge yeah, fans of that movie. Which I think is it's another movie. It's, that it's I my favorite comedy. Is it still on Netflix? Uh, I think they just removed it, but they guys, did because I looked for it the other day. I think. No, and I was very it's okay. Upset. I think it might be on Amazon Prime. Oh. So, you know, win, win, win. Well, so the podcast hope ultimate goal would be that. Um, I mean, I like talking shit, just, you know, n- not actually talking shit. <laughs> like shooting the shit. Yeah, shooting yeah, the shit. Yeah, you know, I'm here to talk shit. Yeah, no, like shooting the shit. <laughs> and and we'll have a we'll have guests along the way um, and shoot the shit. I like to talk about movies. We, we, I feel like uh, we all have a nice knowledge of movies here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve's d- pounding that beer right now. Oh, like, yeah. like there's, another, there's another one. You can Steve's have another a, one. Jesus. I feel like we, we've awoken the dragon. Um, but yeah. the thing is, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I like that we're, that we're just flowing right now. You know that this is fifty minutes. Really, this is fifty minutes. Yeah. Oh my god! Yo, we're killing this. Honestly, honestly. Okay, so when when I listen to podcasts, when I listen to Pill Burr, and when I listen to Chris D'Elia, which by the way, fantastic podcast. Also, Shout out. Also, also David Chang, which he I don't has know. A podcast? Yeah, it's a fantastic I'll podcast. Bet it is. How do food podcasts work? Why you? Oh, um, well, I mean, he's basically interviewing chefs, and it's Ooh. more of like a. Uh, uh, he takes more of like a uh, psychological kind of like society. It's more like a powwow type thing. No, well, yeah, it's a powwow. They're talking about, you know, they're talking about industry. They're talking yeah, about the old days. Exactly. They're talking about like new food trends. But they're also talking about like what do people want? What are people going after? How does the food that they do, that they make affect people? How does it affect um, producers? How does it affect like the world? You know, like how, what's, the, what's the impact on the environment? How could they... So, so it's not like them cooking, and all you hear is like, Shh. no, I can't, no. <laughs> yeah, it so, it sounds it sounds like a fog, like a like a smoke machine at a Diplo concert. Uh, oh my no, god, it's uh, Vegas. no, no, no. It's like it's a it's a full on, full blown interview, and it's I, they're actually really good. Like he's 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 really good at at interviewing people. He's 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 very good. Um, well, I like them. Uh, was it? Um that you showed me, I think it was the mind of a ugly chef. Delivery. Ugly, ugly delicious. delicious. Yes, it was, oh my that was God, fantastic. He's, he's fantastic. At but that. yeah, that that was great. He's, and he's, and he's, he was also on the chef show. Yes, and he was on the chef show exactly. And that was a fantastic. Sorry, that was the episode. last episode I watched. Was that one? That was a fantastic episode. Um, he's very good. Also, we also he's went and ate at his cool, restaurant like, in Toronto. Remember that? Yes. yes how, how we good? went, uh, we went last, uh, month. Uh, last month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Twice. Twice. Those, those buns. How good were those buns? They were but the noodles are fantastic. Yeah, everything's fantastic. Everything like go eat there. Go eat there. Did we say the name? Mom- Shout Mom- out, Fugo? Sh- Mom- Fugo. Actually, I had gone when I had gone to New York a few uh, t- like two or three years ago. I originally wanted to go there. It's it's the original location. Yeah, so the OG. Like, he has like three other restaurants in New York, obviously because it's fucking New York, um, and uh, line up. Like twisting and turning the one in Vegas, three corners of the block. The Momofuku in Vegas is always packed, and I've actually never eaten at that one. It's but now, like two hundred tables in Vegas or New York. Like, in Vegas, really? It's I've never packed. been. In. It's, it's, packed. it's always it's packed. packed. It's packed. Always packed. Yeah. How do you keep up? You got. You got to got to ask yourself something. They make all that. That food isn't like like prepared. Like oh, like put this powder inside the water and make the soup base. Like. It's cooked for like two days. There's like yeah, no place a place that good. You could tell it's not just. Like, but they gotta, oh. pre- you know, like you gotta think like you guys, you guys get there, and you know, like some people, like this is what I find like okay, so we can real talk about this right now, which is what I like. I like this. So shout so, out. So people, you get you know like the, like food reviewers and all that like food bloggers. Food, yeah. Well, bloggers. The, some bloggers they just talk about food because they love food, and people that like actually like say like, oh, I give this restaurant like one star at F seventy four because they have floors that don't make sense. You know, like fuck like, those people. It's like fuck yeah, fuck off. What are you doing trying to trying to destroy something that somebody's working for? You know what I mean? Like, would you like it if somebody reviewed the way that you talk about food? Not really. But 
Are See, you this gonna, is a very personal subject. No, but you got to think. No, it's because you got you got it's it's because it's happened. It's happened to me. Catering and, and, and people have have shit on your on your well, food. shit on my stuff. Like, I think I had crazy. Done, I've never had something that you made that I it did was not a situation like. that came up that um, there were three uh, vegetarian dishes that I had catered a wedding, not a wedding, like a bridal shower, and. A, a lady came up to me. One of the the mothers came up to me and said, uh, "What about the three vegetarian dishes?" And I'm like, "There are what three vegetarian dishes?" Like, I specifically asked. It was mentioned in the contract, you know, that we wrote down. Like, are there any any restrictions? Allergies, restrictions, yeah. Anything, whatever it is. Any food allergy? Yeah, exactly. Food allergies. Is anybody vegetarian? Is anybody vegan? Celiac? Uh, glu- you know, gluten intolerant? Whatever. Everything. You go through that shit. I, yeah. You got you got you got you to cover all your bases. No, no, no. It's all fine. It's all fine. You get there. And all of a sudden, three people have no food in front of them out of 50. And you kind of look like a fucking asshole because, like, like, whoa, we paid for this. Where's the service? And at the same time, it's like you don't know what's going on behind that door where the food comes from. You know what I mean? So you got a picture. You're 200 people in a restaurant. And some people bitch about, like, oh, yeah, it took way too long to get our food. Like, we ordered and the food. It took, like, half an hour to get our food. Yeah. you have. Isn't it supposed to? Like at least half an hour. Well, That's, I don't half know, an hour is half, half an hour is really long. By the way, a, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, is it? Well, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel depends like what you're ordering. Lot, so. depends what it also ordering. depends the company you're with. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so like if you guys are a table of twelve, you know what I mean. Fine. Like, like the the food's gonna take a bit longer because everything's gotta come out at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean. But if you're like if you're like two people, and you're just order, waiting for your fucking food. Yeah, yeah, and you order appetizers or whatever. If you're you know somebody's ordering a salad, the other person is ordering like I don't know a, a piece of cheese. Like it shouldn't take that long, but at the same time, you gotta think. Like you guys got two hundred people in a restaurant, everybody's ordering a different thing. Nobody's or not two two hundred people aren't having the soup. You know what I mean? Like, like there's percentages of people having this and who's having that and who's having this and who's having that, and it's it's fucking chaos back there because the food's made from scratch. If the food was like mass produced, if it's like if, if you're going to like a, a McDonald's, which by the way, and even that it's now, fucking it's, it's really long. It's yes. It's also long. Oh, yeah. It's also like you guys. Not in the states, though. Remember? Uh, no. Yeah, in Vegas, actually. I was. Um, Sorry I mean, to interrupt you, Tom. Just yeah. remember your thought, though. Yeah, yeah no, but, no. Do yeah. you think? Do you think? I remember. Uh, we were in Vegas. Went to the McDonald's on the strip, and I had ordered my food. Yeah. At, at the at the, the yeah, at, at the 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 screens. At, at the screens. Yeah. So, oh, they have those there too. Yeah. How, how they have both. Yeah. I love it. So wait, where did I get the cup? They, they, just called they, they, they called you like, up. Okay, but so like I took my cup to do my drink while I you know wait for my food. So I'm, I'm, I didn't even finish making my drink, and Johnny's like, "Oh, your food's ready." They're calling you. I'm like, I thought how? he was joking. Like how? It, it was no literally sense. it was literally a minute and a half. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even finish filling my drink. And that that is very true because also when I've gone to Plattsburgh, that McDonald's over there, quick really, here in Montreal. Oh, because they couldn't garbage. give a fuck. That's Garbage. the one problem. The one problem with with service in general in over here is if if it's not by it's it sucks to say like I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna generalize and people can hate me if they want to hate me but this is what this podcast is about hate but, yeah <laughs> shout out Sh- yeah no not not hate but like you know like I know, you, you got an You're giving an opinion dude yeah. do what you gotta do you know like like if it's not run by by English people it's sad to say is that the fucking food quality. Not the food quality, but the service in general is never with a smile, and it's always like, it's very rare that you get like unless you're going to like a mom and pops kind of place, yeah. you know what I mean. But like if you're going to a Belle, a Belle Province, that's a hot dog joint. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. Yeah. No, yeah, I know. But like, I'm telling our to, listeners. Oh yeah, sorry. I yeah. I, touch, <laughs> touch I, was, I, was like, I know what I'm you. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, like you go there and, and uh, everybody's like, what? Aggressive and, and, and shit. Aggressive. They don't want to work there. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is also, uh, the service is not the same in in in, in North in Canada as it is in the United oh, States. Oh no, because yeah. they're big on hospitality. They're very big on the United like, States is, food service waiters and shit. Wow. Yeah. That, but that's because you could get like. Fire, like in. Like oh that. yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I feel like here too, you know. Eh. <laughs> eh. But it's also it, it also depends where you go. Yeah, but don't forget the, the states is big on like. Okay, so remember when when we went to I don't know if you guys noticed that when we were in Boston I noticed that now they have it I don't know if they had it back then, but have you guys ever gone to the restaurants where they have the uh, the grade in front of the restaurant they have like A B C. Like a like a Zagat review or something. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like that, but it's actually the city that posts them. It's like inspected by the city, and they like it gives them like their cleanliness, their overall. Like, oh, they level. do that in the states. Well, 
in or New York, Boston. New York, like every fucking really. Yeah, I never noticed that. Yeah, it's crazy. Now I'm gonna look it out. Yeah, at Boston too. Like when I went to Boston this year, I started seeing them everywhere, and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. this stuff's happening here too now. And and I feel like it's good because it it lets you it lets you know like before you walk in what kind of an experience should you expect. Some people you walk into a place sometimes your expectations are like really high, and then it doesn't meet your expectations, and you tend to be a food blogger, and then you just fucking rip through them on pen to paper, and you put it out there, and you fucking kill people. When with that it, when it's not necessarily supposed to be the kind of place they thought they were going. Exactly. To. And not not that it, that it's bad. It's just they had. Uh, an idea in mind, and it's different from that. So they're like, "What the yeah, fuck?" Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like I don't know if you guys. Uh, it, it, Ugly Delicious actually has a, a an episode with him, but and they also in the Chef Show they talk about him too. Yeah, um, Jonathan Gold. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Big big LA food critic. Big. Passed away. Yes, passed yeah. away. Rest in peace. But shut um, up. Uh, he he was the type of guy that uh, would review places, and if the food wasn't good, he wouldn't write about it. Which is the way to go about it. Yeah. But that brings me to my next point, if I could, if I could segue in here. I mean, here. you, it's different. Okay, obviously. so that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. yeah. So you mentioned earlier that, a, f- a few minutes ago, that you're, you're shitting, if you're giving a bad review, you're shitting on someone's yeah. work. Yeah. So that I go and I watch a shitty movie. Yeah. I'm also shitting on someone's work. Yeah. And it could have the best fucking actors in Hollywood. Yeah. But the movie sucks. Yeah. So, so what are your guys' thoughts on me shitting on a movie? Okay, well, I, 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 I felt like you were going to talk about that, and I feel no, no, but it's, it's, you're absolutely right in saying that, but I feel like it's totally different because if the movie's bad, like people will still go watch it. Like some people, like you could tell. I want to make their own opinion about it. Yeah, yeah. Like the movie sucked. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like don't go watch it. The movie was horrible. You know, like oh, I want to watch the new Power Rangers movie and it was fucking horrible. Horrible movie. And like some people still went and watch it like after that. But if you're going to a restaurant, and I tell you, no, dude, I would definitely like don't go there. Like go somewhere else. When you decide, like, where are we gonna go? And if you pass by that place, you're gonna be like, oh no, like a friend of mine like told me it's not good here. Let's go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like you're going there to consume food. You're going to the movie. You're not. It's not like you're putting it in your body. You know what I mean? Like also, like what if the place just had an off night? The movie is the movie. Like it's made. Somebody okay, put yeah. it. Somebody put it on film. Somebody put it out there and said, "Yeah, this is good." You know what I mean? Like it passed. It got screened in front of a bunch of cr- of people beforehand. Before that, yeah. And they were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should definitely put this in every movie theater." Well, you see, that's the thing now with with movies too is that. Um, a lot of the movies that are being made have a tendency of being almost like an art house film. Okay, art house. I mean, is like a slow build. Uh, movies like uh, they get rave reviews now. Movies like Moonlight that you saw, you and I watched yeah, I was Moonlight. With you. Um, movies like If Bill Street Could Talk. Movies was that with Cher? <laughs> That's Moonstruck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Tom, ladies and gentlemen. No, but movies uh, like that have a slow build, but then like they're beautifully made. Mm, mm, mm. Acting is great, but I don't fucking get it. And people get upset because they're like, "How do you not understand? If you're a critic, you don't understand the beauty of movies." No, no, I understand the beauty of movies. I don't get the fucking story. Yeah, why is it slowly like I'm okay with a slow build if it gets to something like fantastic. Yeah, but you see, you also tend to write about that. You tend to mention it. You, you know, I'm like, very specific with movies that I don't that I don't like. But art house films, it's weird because like they get super high ratings, and usually nowadays, the last let's say last last five years or so, they're all nominated for Oscars. So I'll go and watch them. I walk out of there. I walk in super excited. I walk out. I'll be like, like "What the fuck? What did the I hell did I just watch?" watch? Yeah. And then I get. And then you get like the three stars and under rating, and I'm shitting on a movie that actually won like best picture. Yeah, it's pretty at the up. Oscars, that's pretty up. but I'm very selective too with what I watch. So. It also comes down to personal preference too. You know what I mean? Like, like you try and obviously you try and watch the movie as unbiased and as like hundred percent objective as possible. You know what 100%. I mean? Hundred percent. I I'll give an example. When we went, we all went to watch the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Tarantino movie. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So I walked in there super excited, but deep down inside, I also thought, what if this movie actually, like, what if I actually don't like this movie? Yeah. And I have to go write about this movie sucked. Yeah. 
That wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. Still, the probably, Did you watch it, it again? It, I, no, I never watched it again. I would like to, but the thing is, it's... I'm it, dying to see it again, to be it, honest. But, I but, loved it. Uh, it's still one of the best movies. It's probably the best movie I've seen so far this year. Yeah. But... Oh. Oh, is that a preview of things to come for movie of the year? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of things. A lot of movies were just screened at TIFF, the Toronto International Film Festival, mm. like Joker and shit, which I'm very excited to oh, see. Oh, yes. A friend of mine went there and said it was amazing. I can't wait to see that. And uh, but uh, I don't know. Do you have a, 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 a an opinion on like shitting on movies or uh, the difference? Because I find it's two different types of thing. That's why I'm not really sure what to say. When you're kind of reviewing a restaurant, look, you're having select things. You don't you don't necessarily know what's kind of like the best thing there or this or that. I find it's all very. Um, I find reviewing a movie and reviewing a restaurant is different. If you go to a restaurant and you had something you didn't like. Chances are a person's just going to completely destroy the restaurant. They're going to be like something that was kind. They kind of like. They're just going to be like, oh, it was whatever, and then they're going to go attack uh, like everything what I did else. With that breakfast place near. And this this is based on, on things that I've uh, that I've read. So <laughs> whatever. But a movie, I mean, I find it's easier to dissect. It'd be like I've seen movies that weren't good, but uh, let's say a certain actor in it was amazing. Mm. You know, just I find it's easier to kind of dissect and give a. A more uh, clear or and the thing here too is you're, you're also very selective of movies that you watch. I'm very very selective, like more I watch. than I am. Yeah, because I mean, I know what I well, I know what I like. It's it's diverse, but at the same time, I know Fast and Furious one baby. Thank you. <laughs> After that, Jesus Christ! But forget about it, could. <laughs> but uh, I I tend to just watch movies that I know I like. You know. You know. And there's also movies that you, well, the three of us have seen, and I'm like, no, I don't like it. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Gone in sixty seconds. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, you don't. Oh, yeah, but shit. you're 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 wrong about. You struck a I nerve mean, on that one, man. Say, oh, opinion, why'd you say opinions? something? Like no, that? you're wrong. Nick Cage is great, but that movie sucks. <laughs> no, it, oh my god. Anyone who's listening, movie. please watch it. Tell us what you think. Maybe it's because like it's like a what a movie do I like? I, I watched it a bunch of times. The hype man has spoken. What movie uh, do I like that you shot on that you don't like? I don't. I I feel like uh, I feel like I've I don't know. You probably mentioned something. and I'm like no. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's probably well, you gave a good review to the the Lion King. I thought it was garbage. Okay, but yeah, but I hear you. You know what I mean? Like no, no. I I <laughs> that would be such a horrible way to put it. No, because I, I was. I was hesitant from the beginning. I was like... Are you comparing it to the original? No, listen, listen. I'll tell no, you I'm why. No, ta- I'm talking about it in general as a movie. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah. Because I took you to the premiere of Aladdin. Yes. You loved, the, you loved I, it. I did. I thought I was worried that it, like, oh, a remake and this, what are they going to do? But I, it, it was... I really enjoyed Aladdin. It was great. So you kind of were kind of excited for Lion King. Yeah. Well, yes and no. Because I, I knew that the, the CGI animals, like, it worked... The original worked because it's a cartoon. They could have expressions, this and that. This, it's just like, it's just a CGI animal. That they had no expression. They had no expression. The The voice acting was uninspired. The, like, you nobody see Scar like in the cartoon. When you see Scar in the cartoon, he looks, he remind when he does his like evil smiles, he kind of looks like the Grinch. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he has that smile that goes but, from ear to ear. It's also the Jeremy Irons. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jeremy Irons. Irons. But honestly, yeah. honestly, how, okay, so guys, do you think, here, here, here's, here's a situation. Do you think the Lion King could have been saved from having the original cast as the actors? No. You don't, well, they had James Earl Jones, which was Mufasa in the original, in the 94 movie, and they had him recast now. That's the only, because it's weird because they could have still had Ron Atkinson play Zazu. Yeah. Uh, but John Oliver did all right. Yeah, I'll say uh, John Oliver and Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen and also uh, Billy Eichner as Timon was fantastic. Um, but, but Nathan Lane, though. But Nathan Lane is Nathan Lane. You know what I mean? But they're all alive. They're all alive. Uh, who, I believe who played, so. I think, who yeah, played yeah. the. Simba? No, the, 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 the bitch. <laughs> Nola, Nola, uh, Nala. 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 It was Beyonce, which I did not. Enjoy no, 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 not two point uh, I'm talking about the first one. I, I actually don't know. It's probably a nobody. Uh, Matthew Broderick played uh, Simba. Yeah, <laughs> uh, shout out. Uh, yeah, oh, Ferris Bueller. Ferris okay. Bueller played Simba, but uh, I actually don't know who played. That would actually be a great movie to review as a. It's as one of my favorite movies, actually. Ferris yeah. Bueller's. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I feel like you should probably hit a classic John Hughes movie. That yeah. could come up. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, what do you want to tell? What the next? Uh, oh yeah, you want to let us in on uh, a little a little secret. The next. Oh, for everyone listening, preview. Uh, Shout out. The next movie I'm going to review is going. Okay, to- no. Why, why don't you do this? Tell me, because we don't know when this is going to air. So say it's one of the two. Okay, um, it's either going to be uh, the Usual Suspects. That's a great movie. Y- yes, That's it fucking is. Great I can't wait. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> uh, uh, or Atomic Blonde, which when I I remember John, you were with me in the, oh, the theater, yes, that I movie was was insane. I was floored when yeah, I saw that it. Movie was Charlie's amazing. Theron just fucking guys. Who it. by the way is producing a show on Netflix it's called Charlie's Hyperdrive? Theron? Yeah, what's it about? She's a it, she's a big apparently like she's a big car girl. Oh, like, you I know, didn't like, know very that. Very big on like the Italian. It's like a docu series. No, oh. it's not. It's like American Ninja Warrior, but with fucking modified cars. It's ridiculous. I can't get enough of watching it. Shout out to Netflix. <laughs> I'm I'm telling you, like, give it a, give it a watch. Give it a Noted. watch. Oh, it's, is it out? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. It's, What's it, it called again? Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive. It's sick. They take like a bunch. And of... she's in it. She like hosts or she produces. No, no, no. no. She's she's a, she's a producer. Okay. Um, actually, uh, what's his name? Uh, UFC uh, Gispin, 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 whatever. Doesn't matter. GSP? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. So, please, if it was him, I would definitely tell you to watch just for that accent. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, but uh, uh, they, they basically get like twenty, twenty-eight racers or something from all over the world, modified cars and shit, and they make them do like these gauntlets with their cars. Like That's time attack crazy. and like you got to do like like crazy things like level like they drive onto like this bridge that has they have to like level and try and like hold it level for ten seconds with their car like reverse in front oh. and reverse to hold it level and then like it dips down and they gotta like take off and like go through like a, a, a water pool and slide their car on like rails it's crazy it's absolutely nuts and the show is, is si- obviously the announcers sound like you know like like. You look at the announcers. You guys ever see announcers of, 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 of sports shows when they talk to you? Oh, and uh, and uh, here we go with uh, uh, Michael uh, Michael uh, Car- Car- Carmiani over here. Michael Carmiani uh, up at bat again. And uh, Michael Carmiani, for those of you who don't know, went to UCLA and takes a size number <laughs> seven shoe. Like, they know all these fucking random... That's their job. They get paid fucking... Yeah, but they're nobody's the people that yeah. are on the thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if I show up there... And I've never raced a car in my life. And it, well, if you don't know, Tom has this tendency to wear his boxers inside out. Like, how do you fucking like? Where do you, you know? Are they inside out today? No, that's okay. not what I'm saying. You know what I'm, I mean? It's like today. it's like they probably it's have the Tuesday. same. They probably have the same guys that that research their stuff as the guys that that, that do the hot ones uh, interviews. Do you guys ever watch hot yes. ones? Hot yes. ones. No, never saw. It. Never no. saw hot ones. Okay, you gotta watch you, Mister Big Interview Guy. You gotta watch hot ones. Yeah, I'm known to interview people. The, uh, huh? <laughs> I'm known to interview people. Yeah, but that's the thing. He's he he's fantastic at interviewing. And this week, actually Thursday, yeah. season ten of Hot Ones comes out. Shia LaBeouf. Oh, which that is, should be which is very, very controversial. Very, very interesting. Could you picture? Could you picture the zany shit he's gonna say when his mind is being you scrambled know, by hot sauces? I, I, no, but you know what the thing with with Shia is that. Um, He's a great actor. Fantastic. Holes. Are but, you kidding me? But the thing with him is he literally admitted that he had some sort of mental breakdown. Yeah. And he has two movies out now. And apparently one of them was at... Peanut Butter Falcon. And yes. he has one called Honey Boy, which is... Uh, I don't know if it's directed by him, but it's definitely written by him. It's about his life with his father. And Shia LaBeouf plays his, his father. Oh, that would be oh. fucked up. <laughs> so apparently they're both very good movies. And I'm, uh, I would like to check those out. Shout out to Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, though, the, I think that should be the, the name of the episode for this. Shout podcast. out. Shout out to Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> I Done. think that's what we should name this Done. episode. Shout out to Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, just so you know, uh, Tom still lives at home. <laughs> it's, it's not my backyard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, I can't leave Tom well, alone on this one. I also live at we're home. Living, we're, we're living. We're leaving that in the, uh, I feel in, like in we the should, podcast. I feel like that's where we should end this podcast. Now. <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm okay. With, look, this is a great run. We're at an hour and 12 minutes right now. Wow. Uh, this flowed beautifully. Yeah. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that was um, episode one. <laughs> shout, Actually, out sh- shout, shout out to Shia LaBeouf. Shout out to Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Um, episode- Join us next week when we dance with Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> episode one of Snobcast. 
Uh, I think possible uh, episode one. Well, episode one. Well, we'll do a test pilot. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Well, like. If this is good enough, you know. By the way, for all, f- <laughs> we all get, we four of the out, people, right? for all four of the people and our parents that are listening to this <laughs> first episode of the podcast, thank you. You guys are the real MVPs. That's true. Yeah. Thank God for our parents. Yeah. You know, honestly. On that note, I wish you all a good night, and have yourselves a great fucking day, or a good morning, depending when you're listening to this. Yeah. Maybe you're listening to this in Australia. It's probably tomorrow. Exactly. Konnichiwa, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.